Well, now uh, I'll hit Peter Lyons, uh, co-chair of the World Car of the Year Award, at the end of another season. This is like the final of the World Cup for, for you, huh? Well, I'm glad you say that sort of thing. That would be good if it was that. But, you know, we, I mean, the World Car Awards are now the number one awards program in the world in terms of uh, media reach. So we're, we're proud of that. Uh, today... Uh, it was a surprising result uh, yeah. for many. I, I'd actually gone around the the uh, gathering earlier on in the day and found out that a lot of a lot of jur- journalists and and media there um, were leaning towards the the Mazda three winning yeah. uh, and the Corvette winning. Actually, the yesterday during the, pre- the presentation for Mazda. Jim Sullivan almost like said something like, "Tomorrow the I, the Mazda 3 is going to be announced," and then he co- kind of corrected. I don't know. I, I think it was like his wishful thinking. It was <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. because it, the thing it, is, no, they, nobody the thing, knows, right? The thing with the World Cup is that no one, no. But one it was knows. a big rumor. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say. Well, not rumor, but like I people think, were leaning into thinking, were thinking because, the, and of course, the Audi A3 did win, did win the car, World yeah. Car of the Year, and it's a you know a very good car. It deserved uh, to to win. Um, but I think I think the reason that many of us thought that, that the Mazda would win is because it is such a, a well-designed car. Yeah. The Skyactiv technology is being rated very highly around the world. It drives well. Um, it's got great technology. Its packaging is great. Um, it's got some of the best design coming out of Japan right now. And it's also very cost-effective. That's that's one exactly, thing yeah. that people thought would be in its favour. That it would that the cost effectiveness of the car, plus its handling and looks, would lift it above the Audi yeah. A3 at the end of the day. But as it happened, the jurors, you included, as one of <laughs> our you, jurors, yeah. you, um, uh, we, in some way, we voted for the for the Audi yeah, A3, it, it, and it, it uh, came out on top. And congratulations and, and, to them; they yeah. did a great job. And when there's an election, there's always a chance of a surprise. So yeah, exactly, you know, exactly. That. And I mean. It, it, that's just how it ended up. It became an old German clean, clean sweep. The yeah. first time this has ever happened, um, which is basically saying the Germans are doing a, a damn good job. I mean, yeah. so, the, the, the BM i3, the BMW i3, won two awards back to back: the green car and the design yeah. of the year. Um, that that was um, a bit of a surprise for some of us as well. We thought it might get green, but, but design, once again, we thought design yeah, because, may go to Mazda because of what Mazda's been doing with design recently. Exactly, so. and the, because the i3 is such a different car. I mean, it's yeah. one of those that you either like it or, exactly, or hate it. Exactly, so I think, uh, and it seems like a lot of us <laughs> Love it. liked it. So <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it was a very entertaining and surprising and in a way shocking for some of us uh, yeah. the result this morning so, we'll, so uh, we'll on the lux- the new no, the new category luxury car of the year uh, Mercedes Benz uh, the S I think that was uh, that was an expected one because yeah. the the car is such a good car it's priced well for what you're getting mm-hmm. it's got the, some of the best technology in the world that technology is being handed down to oh, the C class even yeah, yeah exactly and that's going to be a a contender, yeah, a contender, contender yeah, exactly. a strong contender, I think, for next year. So we'll see how that goes. But um, I and think I think the the S class was a, a deserved winner. Yeah. Yeah. And on the final category, performance, uh, the, the Porsche. That it seems to be that, that always they 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 win. Uh, three years in a row, I believe they won. Well, I mean, it's a great it's a great car to drive. Of course, I must. I cannot ignore the fact that there was a bit of con- controversy yeah. about that car with its fires. Mm-hmm. Um, but. It's a great car to drive. The technology is amazing. It, it's uh, one of the fastest cars on the planet. It handles well. Uh, it's just that that small recall problem they had that they, that they decided <laughs> well, to replace we're, engines. We're, we're hearing a lot of that lately <coughs> with um, everybody, almost. So. And yeah, I think I think uh, one. I don't know if you want to include this in your in your report, but um, one thing we have to look at in in the, in the world of. Uh, journalism and world cars is um, accessibility yeah. we have to see whether one thing that we have to look at more strictly is uh, how many of our jurors are actually and really getting, getting the access guys, yeah. to, to all of these cars uh, unfortunately I must say that um, not not as many as we hope got access to the Corvette um, in more than you, in, outside the United yeah, States exactly yeah. Yeah. so that I, was, I can see that that was yeah. one reason why I mean the Corvette was obviously the crowd favorite to mm-hmm. win yeah uh, the the emotional favorite to win 
But I, do, I just don't think at the end of the day enough of it us got, got, enough got into the car. Yeah. Well, yeah. we did a bad campaign. So like politicians, <laughs> sometimes so, happen like that. So, you know, we're at the same time as I'm saying, well done, Corvette. I'm saying, because you've made a great car, I'm saying you guys got to think about getting us in the cars. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so anyway. Yeah, yeah well, awesome. very interesting. And now the process starts again. Okay, it has started already yeah, because yeah. there we already seen a lot well, of 2015 cars. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And obviously, the, uh, as you mentioned, the C-Class will... Yeah. which has picked up a lot of that great technology from the S-Class, will, yeah. I think, figure very Probably strongly there. next year. Yeah. Probably yeah. the Porsche 918 Spider, another yeah. like amazing car. For, for, uh, so I was, and, I, and yeah. the BMW i8, exactly, which yeah. I was uh, kind of joking with the BMW people, saying, mm-hmm. maybe you can win green mm-hmm. design mm-hmm. and performance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, it's exactly. so, so, so I mean, it's possible. It, it yeah. fits yeah. In, bo- in three, so mm-hmm. we'll see. Mm-hmm. So, Peter, thank you very much mm, again for, uh, first, for including me in the juror. I, I was an honor to participate. Thank you. And, uh, and for the, a lot of work that you put into this. And so we started saying, like, this was like the final of the World Cup, and <laughs> Germany won. So let's see what happened they in did, Brazil. Yes. Yeah, it, was, it was like a, a, a um, it, was, it wasn't a penalty shootout. I think they got five yeah. goals in the first half. So, yeah. so I don't know if this is going to be, uh, like, a reflection of the upcoming World Cup in Brazil, mm-hmm. but maybe mm-hmm. Germany will win there, we'll too. See. We'll see. We'll see how we go. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Peter. Much. Bye. Uh, see you next year. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.